Welcome back to Crochet by Night. Guys, tonight we're going to talk about hooks. So let's talk about hooks. Let's talk about a specific size hook. My favorite hook size is a six. I can't help it. It just what works best for me. I will use smaller hooks. I will use bigger hooks, but the six is my go-to um, no matter what in a pinch. If I just want to be comforted, I grab my size six and I just start crocheting and whatever happens with it happens. Um, it may turn out to be a hat or a scarf. Not all size sixes, however, are created equal. That's right. Sorry, I love Charlie Brown. Who doesn't love Charlie Brown and hot chocolate? Cause it's fall, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I'm cracking myself up. It's late at night. What can I say? When you're, when you're the only one awake, what do you do? You crack yourself up. It's right. <laughs> I can't help it. So, okay. So, my pumpkin. And hot chocolate is all that's in here, I promise. Okay, so we were talking hook size, right? Size six is my favorite. I think I've already said that. So, this is a size six. A six is a J in the U.S., so this is a J hook. 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 And, and this is a J hook. So, this is a J hook, a size six. This is a J hook, a size six. This is a J hook, a size six. J hook and J hook. This is my newest addition to the size six family. Boy, wouldn't it be great if I was a size six in clothing? <laughs> that I haven't seen since junior high. This I've been testing out and I'll talk about it more in a little bit. First, let's talk about these. This hook was just a generic, something that I don't remember if it came with yarn that I bought or somebody gave it to me or how I got it, but it is a short, short plastic kind of J hook. I don't use it. I don't like the feel of it in my hand. I couldn't even tell you what brand it is. This one, let's hold it up. This one. Is similar to this one. It's just a tiny bit bigger. It's just a tiny bit bigger. I got this one, I think, at Walmart or, or Joann's, Hobby Lobby, one of those places, and it's been a pretty good hook. It is, however, for my big hands, they're not size six either. <laughs> it's been a pretty good hook to grasp. This is just a metal size six in this ergonomic case that I bought. And it works okay, but it has a lot of give. I don't know if you can see that or not. It really, even with the little rubber stopper, it still has some give to it. And I don't like that. I like it to feel really solid in my hand. This bad boy right here, as you can see, is much bigger, is much bigger than the one I bought locally. It is from a company called Unique, U-N-I-Q-U-E. I can't find this hook anywhere. I can't even find it online, except for except for at H.A. Kid and Company in Canada. And to buy from there, you have to buy, it's, it's like wholesale. So I'm still looking because I have got to eventually replace this 
you could tell the little round dot right there. You can see the little dot. You can see the little uh, bump, if you will. That is reflective of the brand. I know there are other, all the other hook sizes were made with that dot. I know that the four and a half millimeter is also blue in color, just like the six, which I found very odd, but it is, it's got this rubber, rubbery grip and it fits in my hand so much better because I hold my hook like a knife not like a pencil if you hold yours like a pencil i say that's phenomenal i say that is awesome i just don't know how to do it that way i hold mine like a knife i hold it and i grip it pretty tight so eventually my hand starts hurting and when that happens i'll switch to the smaller hook because then I have different pressure points in my hand and it doesn't hurt as bad. But my husband thought getting something like this, getting something like this might just be the, do the trick. So I've crocheted with it and I've crocheted with it and I've tried. And at first I could not figure out how to get it in my hand. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel good. I was frustrated. Of course, I wasn't looking a gift horse in the mouth by any means, and so I was very grateful and thankful to him, but I was having a hard time. And then I realized, well, I realized two things about it. One, if you're a pencil crocheter, this is great. I would, I would love to see how someone who crochets with it like a pencil, how, what you think of these because it feels like it should be designed for somebody who crochets, crochets that way. However, here's what I found. I found that I love this hook and I grip it really, really tight and I go really fast. I found that when I switch to this hook, I hold it further up in my fingers, up in the joints. After crocheting with this one for a little while, I figured out if I hold it gently and loosely in my hand and use my fingers right here in the curve to control it, I can crochet pretty well with it. So, of the three, of course, the Unique Crochet is still my favorite. This one, which I can't remember which brand it is at the moment, is still good and usable. But this one, this Addy 6.0, gives me a whole different grip. If you crochet all the time, it gives you a different grip. You can learn to, and my stitches are looser. With this one, I pull really tight stitches. With this one, I pull loose stitches. So, between the two of them, depending upon the project, I can get through it pretty easily. The two together, are phenomenal. I have dozens of hooks, literally dozens, but this one has been, and but this one has been a good addition. This one has has been and always will be my favorite. And again, if you find this somewhere from Unique Crochet, somebody drop me a line, drop me a comment because I would love to have it. Now, I don't really want to pay thirty dollars to have it shipped for a seven dollar hook. But, you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. So if you find a place that has them, that doesn't require me to buy in bulk, please let me know. I would love to have your input. And if you have used this Addy 6.0 like a pencil, I want to know that as well. I find it fascinating how people do that. It's just how you've learned, I guess, I guess and what kind of control you've got. I feel like I would stick my finger out, my pinky out while I was doing it, I don't know. But anyway, I've enjoyed this time together and I hope that um, it's been informative or at least fun for you. And then I'll see you next time. As always, have a good night.